The purpose of this tutorial is to give you some information about the navigation of the CGS 1100 computer applications course. Once you log into my courses and then you click on the link to the course, you'll be taken to the course homepage. The course homepage has news, calendar, and some other SPC resources on it. Be sure to pay attention to this page because it will change depending on what your instructor posts. To get started, you need to click up here in the navigation um, bar for course content. So click where it says course content. And then you're seeing a lot more than you will see initially because this course actually will only show you um, down through the assignment checklist until you complete some other activities. And so um, what you need to do is review the syllabus carefully. It's very important to read for detail. You might even download it and print it. Um, then the next thing you need to do is if you need to email your instructor for any reason, you can email your instructor here. The um, My Courses tutorials are here for you if you are new to My Courses. And then the next thing you would want to do is the Begin Here. Now the Begin Here has a number of activities in it, including getting you to understand how to be successful in this course. Again, read for detail. But there are also some My IT Lab components in here. This course takes advantage of both um, the My Courses interface as well as an, an extra tool called My IT Lab. And you'll be working in My IT Lab to complete some of your assignments, but they're actually integrated into the My Courses interface. So there's lots of information here about how this course is going to work. So please pay very close attention to all of that. Um, there are quizzes, there are videos to watch, there's a number of things going on in here. For example, when you do take the quiz, which uh, is at the end of the begin here, once you pass that with 100%, what that tells your instructor is that you have read the syllabus for detail and you have paid attention to information about how to be successful and you understand what the expectations are for you. Uh, in this course and then that will open up the rest of the content and you will be uh, able to work through the units. Now some units have two sections in them. Unit 1 for example has this green section which is the technology and action section but down below it also has the word section. Uh, you'll be working in in different applications as well. So please be sure to always scroll. Don't assume that what you see without scrolling is all there is in the unit. Uh, some items will take you into my IT lab uh, and open that interface inside of my courses and then others will have you do things like take quizzes or watch videos. The videos are all set to open in new windows and they say so right here, open in a new tab. Um, but what my courses does with navigation to links in new tabs is a little bit different, so I wanted to walk you through that. So basically what happens is I'm going to watch this soundbite, which is a really neat little opportunity to learn about tablets and notebooks via video Thanks and other information. In when I'm done with that, I'm going to close that window that it opened in, that extra tab that it opened in, but I want you to see what happens here. When I close that tab, it took me back not to the place where I had left off, but it took me back to this new window, this new page that had opened in this window. And so what I need to do, what you need to do, is you need to navigate back to where you were. And you can either do that with these clickable links, these breadcrumb links right up here. When I click on this, it will take me back to where I was or all the way back to unit one. Or I can simply come up here and click course content and that will remember the page that I left off from and it will take me back to where I was. So pay close attention uh, to the table of contents and notice that this highlight here tells you where you are. Unit 1 has Unit 1 Technology in Action but it also has this word project in it and as you go through the course you will see that each of these units has different opportunities in it for you to complete activities. So uh, you need to make sure that you are completing everything. And again, that's your responsibility. If you have any questions, you can always use the email instructor link and your instructor will help you. 
and hopefully this little tutorial has given you the opportunity to learn how to be very successful in this course.